A thunderous roar greets the day at Fort Carson, Colorado. Soldiers from 1st Battalion, 8th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Armor Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division, prepare to hit the pavement with two wheels. Recent graduates from the battalion's motorcycle training course will try out their skills with experienced riders on a 127-mile road trip from Fort Carson to Salida, Colorado during today's motorcycle mentorship check ride. Combining different levels of experience is fundamental. I'm going to be leading the way up there, but I'm going to put all the novice people in the middle and uh, all my experienced riders are, are going to be in the back and they're also going to be in, intermingled within the, uh, the novice riders also pretty much so you can check ride with them as, as we go. Freedom of the road is just one of the benefits of operating a motorcycle. That's part of the thing about riding a bike is you're not going somewhere. You're part of where you're going. You know, you're part of the ride. Safety is of top concern to these riders. You're not in a car. You don't have a cage that's protecting you if there's any impact. You've got to watch the road, watch your conditions, watch more of what's around you. You know, you could have a bug hit your face, a rock hit your chest. Customizing your ride is more than just color schemes to several participants. I got my helmet. I wanted to let everybody know when I'm riding, I'm an American soldier. I put combat vet. You know, it's one of, one of those things that you just, you let other people know, hey, I'm one of you. Several riders explain common misconceptions they face. Oh, like the stereotypes, I would say, you know, just because, you know, you dress a certain way um, and then, you know, your bike's loud, everyone thinks of your mentality is that you want to break the law, things like that. It's not about that. Before the group sets off, Sergeant Lopez reminds viewers that the art of courtesy is alive and well and exemplified by those who drive motorcycles. When a biker sees another biker, whether he knows him or not, he, always, he or she always waves to them. I mean, how often do you wave at another car? Me, if I see any bike, I always wave to him whether I know him or not. Sergeant Toby Wall, Fort Carson, Colorado.